Hi there, it's uh, John Robbins here from Bad Golf. I am on my way to Silvermere, uh, which is a sort of a golf course just off the M25 but around Egham. Um, and uh, the reason I'm going there is to try out my brand new Cobra F9s uh, against my previous clubs. Um, and Silvermere, not only is it a, a course, but it's got very good facilities. Uh, it's got little shot trackers on the range, and um, it has also got the Valhalla, which is a left-handed golf shop. Anyone who's left-handed will know that it can be absolute hell finding left-handed clubs that you can actually look at and feel. You might get, you know, one set of irons in a uh, American golf, or you might get the odd couple of wedges. But left-handed golf is an actual shop full of all the latest uh, left-handed kits. So it's always a treat to go there. Here we are. I'm just going to pop into the left-handed shop. Five minutes later. I'm going to be honest with you, I had a whole little skit planned where I was going to go into the left-handed shop, have a bit of banter and try and wangle some free range balls, but there were strangers in there, bigger boys, and I got scared, so I paid for my range balls, and that's fine. Now cruising uh, in fifth, so uh, the Fabia should be a bit smoother. Uh, fun fact, during this journey I will pass my 1,000, 163rd thousand mile hearse there. There's a Ford Focus hearse we've just passed. I always wonder how manufacturers of hearses make it financially viable because obviously you're not going to sell many hearses and I wonder if each car manufacturer is required by law to create, uh, build a certain number of hearses if you do know, comment below the video. So anyway, my thinking is, and cards on the table here, uh, I did get these clubs free from Cobra Golf, uh, but I am in, under no obligation to say anything positive about them. Uh, but just thought I would uh, I would say that um, I am, I believe, the highest handicap golfer to ever gain a sponsorship deal. I want to know how those clubs affect someone who's shanking three out of ten shots, who only hits a seven iron 135 yards, who hooks it. You know, a lot of the clubs, and especially the Cobra F9s, talk about combining forgiveness and distance. And I'm not sure how relevant that is to watch someone who doesn't need forgiveness being forgiven, if you see what I mean. Okay, here we have the clubs. And I'm going to hit three of my old 7-iron, three of the new 7-iron, three of my old 3-wood, three of the new 3-wood, and the same with the driver. So let's have a look at the seven irons compared. So you see a slightly smaller face, but on the back, a sort of a similar style, obviously with the cutaway um, at the back. But just look at these on the Cobra. We've got this ping esque fat end, which looks quite nice. So I've warmed up with the 7 iron, my old 7 iron, and now we're going to uh, hit three shots and have a look on the shot tracker. And this is with my old one. So you can see there. The, uh, what we're talking about, I only really hit one of them, I hit the second one pretty well. So you can see the second one, 167 total, carry 138, full speed 99, and then I don't really know what the rest of this means. But that's a pretty representative uh, selection of shorts. shots. So let's say 138 carry as a standard for the old club. The ball speed of 100, I think those are the importance of so 138 and 99. So let's see how the Cobra does do, do, has do.
now that last one I I really uh, sliced that but look at this One four four, so that's an extra six yards carry, an extra five miles per hour ball speed. I am just going, because I didn't hit any of them particularly sweetly, I'm just going to see if I can hit one more pretty decent. That last one. Now it was way left, but that's, that's 18 yards extra carry. Oh, we're just coming up to Beaconsfield Services, which is... Uh, one of the great services because it houses a Pizza Express and a Weatherspoons. A Pizza Express and a Weatherspoons? Are you describing heaven, John? No, I'm describing Beaconsfield Services just off the M40, uh, just off the roundabout of the M40 and the A355, which is one of the great services. Alas, I don't use it that much because I live quite close. But I like to pop in every couple of weeks just to see how the staff are doing and to check on uh, upgrades to toilets, whether they've got any of those uh, chewy toothbrush machines installed and how the campaign to spend a penny for Pudsey is going. Let's try the three. So just to compare, this is my trusty old Max Fly. But um, suffice to say, they're really, they're just acres apart in terms of technology and money. This might retail for about £2 now on eBay. This is well over £100. Um, but let's see, because this is certainly not going to be 2,000 times as good. But uh, I've not tried this club yet, and I'm quite excited about it. Okay, one miss hit, one absolute corker, and one sort of average shot there. So that's the corker, 213 yards, 183 carry, 126 ball speed, all relatively straight. So that was with our old friend, I mean look at that, how high that first one went. Uh, so let's delete these now. Let's check out the Cobra F9 3 wood. Well, I absolutely destroyed that. Let's have a look. It feels... It feels lighter, even though the other... The old club is very far too whippy. But it's, that, it's a nice mix of... It's not... I don't know what it's made of. What is it made of? Let's have a look. It's graphite. It feels... Um, it's hard to describe. Hollow, but at the same time, solid which is probably the worst description of anything ever, but I absolutely mullered those. So on that first and last one, 223 yards, carry 199, ball speed 127 and 130. And look how straight they went apart from that one. 223 yards carry, 225, with a three wood. That's further than I usually hit a driver. That's quite exceptional. They got these rumble strips on the M25, can you hear that? I think it is incredibly irresponsible because it sounds like I've got a flat tyre. Stinger! Stinger! It sounds like I've been stung by a stinger. It sounds like there's a problem with my car. You hear that? I don't know whether they're testing different types of tarmac to see which ones wear away quicker or whether they're there to make you slow down. If you speed up, I'm now doing 70. It sounds like I've got a flat, tire, a flat tire. It's dangerous and it's incredibly annoying. Listen to that. Okay. So finally, let's try the driver. So this is my old friend. 
the R5 dual tailor made. I've been using this for about three years, got it second hand on eBay for £14. And I think it's illegal due to the trampolining effect it has. Okay, well that last one stayed hit at the very least. Let's look at the stats. So that's 225 total, 195 carry. And they were pretty, it's slightly left and one of them was a bit of a duffer. So that's as far as I was hitting the Cobra F93 wood, 225 total. So I'm imagining I'll be able to hit the driver at about 3,000 pounds. Now then, to be honest, I didn't actually nail any of those, but the last one I hit exactly the same as my driver, but look how much straighter they are. Straighter on the diagram, nice flight, all in the sort of target zone. And like I say, all above 200. So I think, fair to say, it's not increased the, the distance massively. What it has done, is meant the two ones I didn't really nail have gone an extra 20 or 30 yards each. Now what I'm going to try and do is hit a few, because I've never hit a driver this good before, and see if I can break 240. So, I've taken the three best from that that sort of six or seven, and I think I've hit the longest driveway in my life. So, two, three, one yards, one, nine, eight, ball speed, one, two, eight. Don't really know what the rest mean. What I'd say is, when I'm hitting it off center, it's not going far off center. That said, when you're a hashtag bad golfer, you need more than just clubs to make you a hashtag good golfer. Hey, bad golfers, I'm a bit out of breath and I've really hurt my leg. But I just wanted to record this moment. But I hit my longest ever drive. 238 yards. I think I could probably do quite a lot of damage to myself trying to break that now. This is pathetic. Anyway, quite a lot of duff shots. Hit my longest drive, that's with the uh, Cobra F9. I think that's probably about 13 yards longer than I've ever hit a driver before feels good. One thing I really like is the grips are slightly bigger than my old grips, they're a bit thin and I've got slightly big hands so that makes a big difference. Um, I don't feel I've done a particularly authoritative test. Uh, I would say in general, uh, the 7 iron, I got a lot more distance. I actually took a photo, I didn't record it, but I hit a 5 iron, 190 yards. And I don't know whether that's a glitch in the system or because I'm on one of the up sort of higher tiered bays is about 12 feet off the ground below but 190 yards for a 5 iron a club I cannot hit is exceptional a um, bit of a confession to make I was very excited coming here to test out my new clubs and when I went on a range I got a bit shy about talking in front of the bigger boys so uh, I'm not really sure I did a very good job there hashtag shy golf um, I think I might need to arrange like a, either for Alex to come or a private bay. Felt a bit exposed there and my sort of worst nightmare is like having to film in front of the old General P. Um, but in summary, I don't think I did a very good job of either sets of clubs really, but um, the, the Cobra clubs felt lighter, they're slightly shorter, um, they felt softer when I hit the ball and when I was off centre they didn't sort of send that like judder down your wrist. Um, uh, I, was, I was consistently slicing them whereas the old clubs was just sort of all over the place and I hit my longest ever drive with the Cobra F9, it's 238 yards, um, I think my best before that was 225. 
Uh, I also, as I said, didn't catch it on camera, but I hit a 5-iron 190 yards. I think that might have been, I don't know, Jesus or something. Um, but yeah, a little bit shy. Uh, it's exactly how I feel whenever I do uh, a run-through for a panel show or an audition or a casting. Which is why I don't really get on TV that much, because I get a bit embarrassed and shy. Anyway, uh, about uh, back in the Fabia now. Pizzazz back. I've got a bit more pizzazz. Definitely felt I'd lost my pizzazz there. Um, about to join the A A3, the Portsmouth Road. Uh, and we're on that for about two miles. And then, what a treat, we get to go counterclock and clockwise on the M25 in the same day. Always a bit of fun. 163,000 miles in the Fabia. 163,000 miles. What a moment. What economical driving. What? It's such good value. There you go, I'm glad to share that with you, that little moment. Just for any... Uh, Police officers watching, uh, the GoPro is lodged between uh, the uh, passenger seat and the central console of the Fabia. I'm not touching it, apart from when I press on and off, but I believe because it's secured that it's legal. Uh, I'm not taking my eyes off the road, apart from to check in every so often. And I'm doing a smooth 40 through Beaconsfield, which, fun fact, is twinned with Longres.